So hi everyone, this is Jasky from the Achievement Squad, coming at you with a Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice Guide. And in this video, I'm going to show you the location of all of the lore, collectibles, and the hidden faces. We're over here in Chapter 1, and there is only one collectible in Chapter 1, out of the grand total of 35. And just along the main path, as you go past this body, you're going to see a little wooden pillar with a skull on top. And you want to make your way over to it and hold down the right trigger to focus on it, and it is going to turn red. There's only one collectible in Chapter 1. I am with you still. We're now in Chapter 2, and we are just hanging out with our friend who gave us the boat this way. Uh, and you'll be walking through this little village area. Just on the right-hand side, you're going to see this uh, kind of hut with a little bit of kind of farm ground around it. You want to wake your way in through the gate and just go around the back of the hut to find the next pillar. A little bit later on from collectible number two, we're going to be making our way through this house just here. Uh, you'll know that you're on the right track when you go inside. Uh, you press A to duck through. You're going to see a fella that is hanging around. Make your way through this building. It's hanging from above. Like a cow. What could do this? As you come out of this building, you want to take a left. Apologies, I should have probably ran here. But as you go through this left section, you're going to come down into kind of like this muddy pit area. On the left-hand side, you'll see a little gap that you can squeeze Senua through. Take Senua through that gap, and you're going to find your next piece of lore. Now it's worth noting, once you've found all of the lore or all of the hidden faces, you will unlock in the extras feature a ability to change the narrator, uh, I believe to Druth and the other uh, character that is narrating. And we're going to go after our first hidden face. So from here we want to exit out the way we came in. We're going to go past the watchtower and exit out of this field on the right hand side. And we're going to stay on the left and make our way towards the houses. So as you come up this hill, you'll just see the hut directly ahead of you. And I quite like this little feature about the game, this little cool quirky kind of way of doing things. So you'll see a face in the rock. Press right trigger to zoom in on it and it is gonna cause the rock to disappear. Uh, it's gonna kind of mold back into the features of the surrounding area uh, and it will open up a hidden path. Once you go inside, you'll find this little tree and you wanna interact with the tree as well. That's not mandatory for the achievement, only finding the hidden faces is. However, by doing this, you are going to unlock an additional narrator, and there is an additional achievement for using a different narrator on New Game Plus. Okay, so a fair chunk on into the chapter, you're going to be f dealing with this Draugr ritual. So you're going to be in this pretty dark moment where you're going to rescue a friend and there's a lot of fire and chanting, all of this kind of stuff. Apologize for the color kind of offset. My Elgato was experiencing some problems, so it's a little bit redder than normal on the screen. But hang on the left hand side as you're going through this area, and eventually you're going to come across this ladder. You want to make your way up to the top of the ladder and then take a right and stay on the path, and you will eventually uh, encounter your next piece of lore. Once you are past the ritual, you're going to be hanging out with your friend just here, uh, and you are going to make it up to this kind of broken bridge. At this point in time, rather than kind of uh, going straight along with the main path, you're going to deviate off to the left a little bit. Uh, and as you come down this path, we are going to find our next hidden face. Make sure you zoom in on it, and that is going to take you through to the next uh, collectible that you'll need for the narrator. Loki lies imprisoned in a cave, trapped by his enemies. 
who set a serpent above. We then have one more piece of lore, which is just a little bit further along from the last piece, and you'll be still on the same track with your friend just here. Stay on the left hand side and make your way across to these white rocks. I am not so sure why this is so saturated, I do apologise. Uh, you want to make your way down the hill, and as you come down the hill, you'll take a right and you're going to find the final uh, lore of this chapter. We are now over in chapter number three, and you're going to be hanging out with your bros again. We're going to be making your way along the main path, and once we get to the bottom of the hill, we're going to want to separate off from them. So we're going to go after some more hidden faces and some more lore. So make your way down the hill, and as you get to the base of the hill, we want to stay on our left-hand side uh, and go to the very far end. Now as you come up on this busted shack, you want to just keep making your way forward and then just through the stones on the right hand side, you're going to find your next piece of law. Skulls tell how in the time of Grettir's kinsman Fulgrim, there was a terrible famine. From that piece of law, you want to spin around 180. And we are going to go after our next hidden face, which is literally just pretty much right next to you. So looking at that last collectible, spin around 180 degrees and you're going to see a hidden face pretty much directly behind you. So walk on back, take a right ever so slightly, and then take the face out of the picture and grab the collectible that's behind it. Next up, we are going to go for hidden face number four. To do that, you want to turn around and you're going to jog to the far side of the field, opposite where you came in. So go back past the burnt out hut and the hill that you came down. As you reach the base of the hill that you came down, you want to make your way to the right and we're going to go kind of past where we came down and go back on ourselves a little bit. So keep making your way in. And as you get further in, take a look on your left hand side and you're going to find your next hidden face. So the next collectible for chapter 3 requires some significant story progression, so that it's for piece of lore number 7. So you're going to need to hack a chunk of the story out and you'll be back at the camp with the dudes. And once you are back in this location, you'll want to take a left from your friend. You're going to make your way to the back of this kind of campsite area with these derelict huts. And you're going to follow the pathway around to the left hand side. Do not drop down any ladders or anything because you will not be able to get back up. There is chapter select at the available at the end of the game. Uh, sorry, after you've completed an area, uh, you can go back to it and then resume, but just it's easier to grab them all in one run. Make your way up to the top of this very hill and you're going to see your next piece of lore at the top. So our next hidden face is going to require you to progress a little bit further into the story. You'll have dropped down from the main campsite where the last collectible was and we're going to go after the next hidden face which is along the main path uh, but you do have to kind of deviate a little way. So when you get to this area with all of the red rocks it's going to be just off pace on the left hand side. Uh, it's quite easy to see but as you come up to this fork here just take a little left and you will just find it just there. Swing on in for your next collectible. No. 
So this next one will require you to solve the puzzle first of all, which is linked to the mirror reflections where you have the duplicates on the roof and kind of the, the floor area and you're moving rocks around. Once you've cleared this area, it's going to open up a door just by these white stones. But once that's open and you've solved that puzzle, you want to push on through. It's not a difficult puzzle, so you should be able to solve it pretty quickly. Hang a right on this path and eventually you're going to come across your next hidden face. Take that out of the way and go grab the collectible. Now from this previous collectible we are going to go after our next piece of lore. So exit back out and stay on the main track. As you come up on the left hand side you're going to see these white ledges that you'll be able to climb up on. You want to find the smaller of the two. Hop up that ledge and follow the pathway around to the left and you're going to find your next lore pillar. Now your next collectible is after solving another one of the water puzzles and it's just off of the main path again. So this is our next hidden face. Uh, you'll have solved this puzzle as part of the main story. So make your way up the hill and we're going to go through where the blockage originally was. As you squeeze through this gap, take a right. Make your way down into this area and you want to hop down the ledge just in front of you. It's just a few of them. Take a right at the bottom of the ledges once you've made all your way down. And then as you come up to this area, we are going to stick to the right hand side and hop up the ledge. Is There's multiple of them. And as you get to the top, we're going to go around for our next collectible. Next up we are going to go for collectible number 16 which is some more lore. We should be on lore of lore pieces 9 in total. I think it actually translates to lore blocks when I put it into uh, Google Translate. But make your way out of that main area and we're going to go between these two kind of little ponds. And as we come through these little ponds we're going to take a left and we're going to squeeze through the rocks. Follow this pathway around for the next piece of lore. Now, uh, law number 10 is just around the corner, so take a left from this one and drop down. Make your way to the left and we're going to follow the pathway through. You want to go just through this particular section and as you come up to the hill just here, don't go all the way up, take a right that's partially along the way and you want to duck underneath the gap. Once you've ducked underneath the gap, you'll be able to find your next piece of law. Yes, she can still hear. She can. We can follow them. You have to follow them now. So this next collectible is actually quite missable. It's a bit out of the way and it's not like the rest of them. It's on the roof uh, and it's also hidden with inside a puzzle, whereas normally it's that's not the case. Um, so make your way across to the stone. And you want to grab the, uh, the ball from the pedestal that is on the right hand side of the lake area. Once you've done that, take that back down to the main pedestal and drop it in to drain the lake and trigger the puzzle. 
obviously we're not going to drain the lake yet. We've got to start the puzzle first of all. But once you've got the ball, you want to pick that up. Uh, and you're going to take that down to the middle kind of little plinth. And that is going to start the puzzle properly. So we had to do a couple of experiments on how to get this done the right way. Uh, so apologies if it's a little bit clunky, but it should be hopefully clear now. Um, this section is a little bit tricky to navigate. So we want to start off by using the first water droplet to swap the rocks from the ceiling to the floor. And then we're going to take a left and kind of make our way around. Now you can do the second droplet just here on your right hand side if you need to, because it will help extend the area above, which we've already done. But you want to climb up uh, once that's done. You're going to get attacked when you come up here. As you can see, we've already taken out the enemies in the area. But you'll need to interact with this third droplet up here once you've had that fight. Once you've done that, you'll need to then make your way down. So that water droplet, the rocks, should be on the ceiling. Make your way back down from the area where you just came. Take a left, and then you're going to interact with this second droplet. That's going to open up the path all the way to the right. You'll also have needed to interact with that in the beginning. Follow this pathway around. You want to duck underneath the ledge that's just here. And you want to follow the pathway around just past the other plinth puzzle piece. And then look to the roof on the left hand side, just by this stone. Uh, you are going to find the collectible that you are looking for. The skulls say that Grettir swam back across the strait, keeping the fire safe from the water. So our next wave of effort is in chapter 4 now, so there's no more collectibles left in chapter 3. And this is as you go down into the caves, uh, and it's going to take, this is quite a story driven chapter, so there's a lot of kind of events rolling on with this one. Uh, but as you get hold of your torch, you're going to want to make your way into this kind of cave area. <clears throat> and follow the path forward for a moment. Once again, she is leaving the sun, leaving the world, plunging into the unknown places which no light touches. She has always been afraid of the dark, the deep, still silence that blinds her eyes till she thinks she will never see again. But there is a thread this time. Connect her to the ones above. She has promises to keep. She will not let them down. Where are we going, Samara? I have a bad feeling about this. I don't like this. Now stay hanging to the left hand side as you're going around. As you're coming through here. And this is going to be very difficult to navigate. There's not much in the way of landmarks to go. But as you holding to the left, you're going to bump into this face eventually. And that is your next hidden face of the game. In a land to the east, they know that when a traveler finds themselves lost, it is the fault of the Vadataj. Wait at the crossroads to trick souls passing. So your next piece of law is in the same upper kind of area that we are in with the hidden face. So from here, we want to turn around and make our way back out into the main cave. 
and we're going to stay hanging on the left hand side as we go through this tunnel system and if you keep staying on the left hand side you'll eventually end up going down the main route anyway so keep hanging left and after you've jumped down a couple of times we're going to get the next piece of law so following the pathway now to the right and they say keep hanging on the left hand side of the cave eventually you reach this big room with lots of skalactites hanging from the ceiling take a right from here and we're going to go past this shield we're going to go around and we're going to find the next piece of law did they have to fight she needs to be careful careful so with a little bit of progression onwards from this collectible, you would have lit uh, up your first blue flame and you're going to make your way through this cave until you reach a second blue flame. Now as you come into this area, you drop down and you want to take a right. We're going to go up and turn that flame off because there is a hidden face behind the rocks that it is covering up. So those rocks are on your right hand side as you come up here. You can notice them because they're a little bit off colour usually. They're not the same colour as the standard rocks. But when you extinguish this flame, turn around and you're going to find your next hidden face. So after a small chunk of story progression, you're going to want to make your way out of this cave. So we're going to hit this point eventually where you're going to have to drop down a hole um, and we're going to get our next hidden face so as you fall down it's going to point you to face forwards you want to actually turn around because your next hidden face is directly behind you So after another chunk of progression, you are going to be solving these puzzles again with the drawbridge. You eventually have reached this part uh, and you're going to need to light the torch that is directly in front of you. Once you light that torch, you want to cross over the bridge and you're going to just stick to the main path for a moment. As you come through this crouched section, you're going to be seeing the opportunity to drop down on your right hand side. Once you do that, drop down and jump up then for your next piece of lore. So after a big chunk of story progression and giving up your sword, you're going to enter this cave which has got uh, some quite interesting lights. And as you come forward, you're going to see a bit of daylight for the first time in a little while. And as you come forward, you're going to take a left, stay away from the daylight, and you're going to just see the face literally imprinted on the wall here. And now for our next piece of lore, we are going to have to track it across the area a little bit. So turn around from this collectible and go past the light lit up area that I mentioned earlier. Uh, so as you come through this particular part, you're going to take a left, and this is part of the main path to progress forward anyway, dock into the little cave that is just ahead of you. As you come down here, you want to drop off of the ledge. Make your way forward to the other side. rocks will have started to fall from the ceiling. On your left is the way forward to progress through the game. Instead you actually want to take a right and make your way into the cave for the last collectible of this chapter. Gretier found the sword he was seeking. Car's loom buried in the grave mound. He went to leave but before he could reach the rope something grabbed him from behind and Grettir realized the Mound Dweller would not let his treasure go. 
the two fought for. So chapter five is the last chapter for collectibles. There are still chapter six, but there's no more collectibles beyond the chapter five point. You'll be back outside. You would have been just hanging out with your friends and it would have now switched to a nice sunny scene. Make your way down the hill and where you just see this little trickle of water coming out the rocks, take a right and there's a hidden face just here and make your way in for the collectible. Next up is a piece of lore that is actually directly above us. So come out of the waterfall area, take a right and stay on the right hand side of the path as you come up because it's just hidden off here. You'll be able to turn around, go back on yourself and then squeeze through your gap and then look on the right hand side for the next collectible. So a big chunk of story progression next and you're going to be hanging out with a new friend uh, and as you're on this path you're going to be talking about mothers and fathers and you'll come up to this little section where you see some white rocks just ahead of you that you'll need to squeeze through. Instead just look to the right and the face is plopped on the floor. Make your way in for your next collectible. Now after spending some more time with your friend, we are going to have made it to this point in time where you're going to have to hop over a rock and walk into this kind of general open area. So hop the rocks, stay on the right hand side and you're going to find your next piece of lore. You will need to turn to the left and duck underneath the rock to find the collectible. So the game now requires you to complete more progression and you would have solved the rune puzzle to unlock the door uh, after your friend has run off and left you alone. So once you've unlocked that door you want to make your way through and as you come through this section follow the hill down, stay to your right and you're going to find a hidden face. Your next collectible is going to be down at the beach area and you'll be solving this rune puzzle. So we're going to start that off, it needs to be daytime, uh, so make sure that it's daytime in your game, if not you need to interact with the water orb above the, the ocean. Climb up to the right onto these rocks, as you climb up onto these rocks go to your left and you're going to interact with the drip above the ocean to remove the rocks on your right hand side. Once that's done follow the pathway all of the way around. Drop down on the other side and you want to go past this overturned boat, boat hull. hull. I've got a little bit of a cold if I'm having some troubles pronunciation, pronunciating things, so sorry guys. Uh, but make your way through this little gap just here and follow the path forward for your next piece of lore. The next face collectible is pretty much on top of this one, so just turn around, make your way back in the cave and you'll see it as you're just walking through that it's quite easy to miss, uh, but it's just in the wall just here. Uh, zoom in on it and that will cause it to disappear and grab your next collectible from there. Uh, some big progression will have happened now and you'll have your giant friend lingering around in this area. You'll come into this village which is when you're going to go back and regroup with your recently found friend. Uh, and this, as you'll see in some cases, the ghost of a giant or something like that will appear as you're walking through the area. But you make your way in 
And you're going to stay on the right hand side, go past these derelict houses. And as you go further back in, you're going to find another hidden face that is just wedged between the rocks. Get that out of the way for the next collectible. We only have now two left to get and we are done. And they're very nearby. So that next piece of lore that you're looking for, turn around and you're going to make your way backwards towards uh, that main path. Now as you come through this section, and don't do what I did, go towards the house, uh, you want to just turn right as you're coming through this part. And then you want to start marking your way up to this house with the torch it's on, but just take a little bit of a left, just to go off the path a little bit, go up the hill. And as you come up the hill, make your way between these broken walls, and you're going to find your final piece of lore at the top just here. So that should be 18 pieces of lore in total that you found for the achievement, the Tales of Midgard. And then we're going to get the last hidden face, which is just around the corner. Uh, so from the same collectible, we want to turn around 180 degrees. So we turn around 180 degrees. And then literally stay on the left hand side, go past this house just here, and then take a left for the next hidden face, and that's going to get you the glimpse of the gods achievements. You can also use chapter select if you've missed anything, uh, so I will timestamp everything below. I've been Jessica from the Achievement Squad. If you find this guide useful, drop us a like, comment, subscribe, and happy hunting. Men here will tell of how you.